The human remains discovered at Long Plains in January this year have been identified as murder victim Lou Lynn Lee. Mr Lee, who was 25 years old, was living at Croydon when he went missing from the Royal Adelaide Hospital in 1984. He was in hospital receiving treatment uh, after being shot in the shoulder as a result of a domestic uh, disturbance, or d domestic situation. A man was charged, convicted and jailed in, rela in relation to shooting Mr Lee. The disappearance of Mr Lee, um, who was reported missing by his brother on the 12th of December 1984, was declared a major crime two years later on 7th of December 1986. During the investigation, several people of interest uh, were identified. A number of people have been interviewed, but no charges have ever been laid. As you know, on the 25th of January this year, Mr Lee's remains were found in the shallow grave adjacent to Baker's Road at Long Plains, just north of Adelaide. The identification of Mr Lee has been confirmed um, by the State Coroner. It's based on forensic examination of the remains and physical evidence located uh, at the scene, at the burial scene, after DNA testing was un unable to confirm his identity. We are now seeking the assistance of uh, members of the public who may have information relating to the murder of Mr Lee. Obviously this is a very serious crime. Mr Lee was somehow lured away from his hospital bed. He was murdered and he ended up being buried in a shallow grave north of the city and we only just discovered his body this year. It may be that there are people out there who have information about the matter and have been reluctant to come forward for a wide variety of reasons. It may even be that someone wants to clear their conscience now about what happened. We would urge them to contact police to come forward and to uh, let us know what they know before we knock on their door. It should be remembered that unsolved murders are never filed and major crime investigators are always willing to reopen investigations and uh, conduct follow-up inquiries if we receive uh, additional information and new information. So we would urge anyone who has information about the disappearance and murder of Mr Lee to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 000. Just as further background, during the investigation, there were reports that Mr Lee left the hospital with a blonde-haired woman. These reports were never able to be confirmed. That woman was never identified. Mr Lee left the hospital without his personal effects, his clothes, money, papers, uh, which were left in his hospital room. Major crime detectives have had uh, ongoing liaison with uh, Mr Lee's family, mainly his brother who lives interstate. He has a mother who lives in Vietnam. This uh, case has been reviewed a number of times since 1986 as part of our ongoing cold case review process, including 2007 when a number of people were re-interviewed in relation to this investigation. It's fair to say the investigation has been significantly hampered by the failure to locate the body of Mr Lee, uh, as we've had unconfirmed sightings of Mr Lee in various locations. There were rumours that he had, uh, in fact, gone into state and overseas. Uh, and, and it's fair to say some of the witnesses perhaps did not grasp the importance and significance of, uh, of what had happened. And I'd like to close off by saying that it is still possible to lay charges in relation to murder, even though it's been nearly 30 years since Mr Lee's disappearance and murder. Any questions? Um, the man that was arrested, 